Hey everybody, this is the Tabletop Titan, and uh, I know I look a little grungy right now. I work in a kitchen, and I just got off, and there's a lot of steam and you know fryer grease in the air, so haven't had a chance to scrub up, but I plan on doing that before I hit the hay. I just want to get this off my chest real quick. Um, I'd like to extend a thank you to my first ever subscriber, uh, Area Sh Area Shifty Bun. Um, his link will be on the side. I uh, haven't had a chance to look at any of his stuff because I just got on, I just checked, but it looks like some funny entertainment, little comedy, sketch comedy, stuff like that, so I plan on checking it out, and you should too. Um, thanks for popping my subscribe cherry, if I can say that, without us sounding too gay. I think it'll be okay. Um, things you might be seeing on the Tabletop Titan, or you probably will be seeing. Uh, I will be doing my review of Fallout 3. Well, why are you going to do a review of Fallout 3? Well, it is kind of old, as far as gaming standards go, but it is personally my favorite game. Uh, it has a lot of secrets, a lot of little tricks I can show you. I'd like to accompany it with some footage. Um, I might not be able to right now, but if we take a second look at Fallout 3 and uh, its DLCs, the downloadable content, um, I'll be more than happy to uh, go over that and post another video. Uh, as for the next thing... Um, LARP. Okay, uh, I know I mentioned I do uh, live-action role-playing, and I intend on doing a video very soon about what you should wear and how you're going to be able to get around. Because when you're marching around in the hot sun banging on mother scratchers, uh, there's a big difference between wearing stuff like this to uh, stuff like this, or if you're going to go all the way, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go into the pros and cons of the different types of armor. Um, and ways of kind of avoiding the various chafing and pain that you get for that per personal hobby. Also, um, I'm going to go into what the benefit is for wearing these, and also uh, why it can suck to wear a pair of these. They, uh, well, that'll be part of that video, so uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, I think, what else was I going to cover? What else was I going to cover? Oh, um, I personally run an orc army in Warhammer 40k. That my next Warhammer video will be why I play orcs and why I think you should play orcs. Oh, and one last thing. Uh, I intend on making a, um, a orc gargant or stompa, which is like these giant, uh, I guess you could say like you know, iron giant monsters that stomp around and destroy things and, uh, they're like essentially avatars for their god, only not, they're just built that way. Think of like that Jesus statue in that South American country, if it's in South America. I'm, I'm not an educated person in those regards, as far as geography goes, but imagine if a big giant Jesus was walking around beating people up, only your Jesus was an orc, and he was brutal but cunning. Or cunning but brutal, depending on which, which orc deity you like. But once again, we'll cover that when I go into detail about why you should play orcs, why orcs are awesome, and give a little more detail about what the orcs are and what they do. Uh, I won't be giving much spoilers, and I hope Games Workshop doesn't get upset with me. This is all stuff you could find on the wiki, which I will be posting on that when that comes. So, thanks for wasting 30 minutes and 30 seconds with me, and I hope to see you later on in more videos. Peace. Lost my mouse. So I'll have to click this. Sorry. Foolish. Can't edit this out. Bye.